Vidyan Prakash, uh, the screen I have opened, is the screen appear sunrise, sunset screen. You put it in the chat box. I will see. Okay. Right. I have seen Vidyan Prakash. The screen is the screen has appeared now. Right. You put the message and say, let us continue. Uh, so, uh, in order to calculate the uh, hour angle corresponding to sunrise or sunset, we use this equation. Omega S is the sunrise or sunset uh, equation. So, phi. This phi is the latitude and delta is the declination. Phi and delta. This, if you know these two, uh, sunrise and sunset hour angle can be calculated. Then uh, day length, day length maximum can be calculated by this equation. Again, this is uh, containing the parameter uh, latitude and declination. Latitude will be given in the problem our data uh, uh, data tables are there delta declination uh, you have to calculate uh, otherwise the graph yesterday what i have shown uh, declination versus the day of the year graph is plotted so by using the graph also chart chart also you can uh, take the value delta directly it is better delta calculate uh, by using the formula yesterday what i have shown so with these two equations, we can calculate uh, a day length and uh, sunrise sunset uh, angle. Let us uh, proceed with uh, some other uh, um, problems. And uh, empirical uh, equations. Okay. Uh, anyhow, in, uh, this page is a little blur, uh, so in the book you can see clearly. Now we have several uh, empirical equations to calculate the monthly, average, daily global radiation, diffuse radiation, beam radiation, and average uh, uh, extraterrestrial radiations. So let us see what are all these uh, empirical equations are there and one typical example to estimate the uh, monthly average daily global radiation we will solve that one equation so this is monthly average daily global radiation here the number of parameter they take meteorological parameter meteorological parameters they take what are meteorological properties means uh, see number of sunshine hours cloud cover precipitation precipitation means rain occurring these three meteorological properties they will consider to uh, develop a empirical equation so this is that equation uh, hg bar by hc bar is equal to a plus b s bar by s maximum uh, where uh, Hg is Hg bar is monthly average of the daily global radiation on a horizontal surface at a location. It's look at the units kilojoule per square meter per day. Okay. 
then it's the monthly average of the this is monthly average of the daily global radiation then s is monthly average of sunshine hours sunshine hours and s maximum monthly average of the maximum possible sunshine hours per day at the location so these are the four parameters uh, it look blur, it is not much clear the scanning uh, in home manage with this one next page is clear uh, in our book uh, just to get an exposure and idea about this one in our book it is clear now uh, they have uh, replaced this equation this equation is replaced by this equation now due, due to some advantage in that they have uh, introduced h naught bar so what is h naught is look at this h naught bar it is the monthly average of the daily extraterrestrial radiation extraterrestrial radiation means above the earth's atmosphere but we want extraterrestrial radiation plus radiation available on the earth surface these two total we want that total is this one so that is what this is uh, uh, global global means total we want total radiation okay so this hg we have to calculate it h not you calculate it by using suitable equation a constant b is a constant s bar i have told already s maximum also sunshine hours i also told that one uh, the values of a and b have been obtained from obtained for many cities in the world by uh, law of et al they are given in the table 3.2 okay constant values are given and then look at that uh, uh, constant values see here uh, constants a and b uh, for same uh, nevada nevada uh, a is 0.54 b value is 0.18 s per by s maximum also it varies in this range directly this range value any one value between these you can assume or we can assume and take from this uh, table and a and b you can take and if you substitute in the formula you can you are going to get the answer so problems on this is simple easy okay why i have uh, chosen nevada is a hydroelectric power plant plan of the dam i have shown that is the nevada nevada place hydroelectric power plant uh, that is why just for familiarity uh, i have taken this one this is further h not is given by this equation and uh, a and b are indian cities say for example uh, ahmedabad a b value has been taken this you can uh, you need not worry this one directly this value you take it is enough now let us look uh, one problem here Uh, vidyan prakash is it uh, okay put, put put the message in the chat box flow is uh, uh, correctly going is the flow is correctly going on uh, the screen and the audio vidyan prakash put the message in the chat box okay with them i have seen fine thank you let us continue uh, we have i am going to solve one problem that is look at this problem estimate the monthly average daily global radiation on a horizontal surface at baroda 
lat 22 degree 0 minutes north 70 degree degree 10 minutes east during the month of march if the average sunshine hours per day is 9.5 this is the problem here we have to calculate daily average daily global radiation which g bar hg bar we have to calculate average daily global radiation so what all the data given look here the we uh, we will assume the values of a is equal to 0.28 b is equal to 0.48 so from where we have obtained from the table 3.3 so where is that table 3.3 i'll be showing so this value this value and this value with correction okay. 0.3 or 0.48 uh, round about this value can be assumed uh, baroda list is not here but ahmedabad place is there baroda is nearer to ahmedabad we will take this value okay um uh, Ahmedabad are valid for Baroda. Therefore, take the values of A and B. Then, uh, so March sixteenth. Uh, he has given March sixteenth. For March sixteenth, look this. N is equal to seventy-five. It comes from January, February, March. You count the number of days in January, February, and up to March sixteenth. Then n will be equal to seventy-five. Okay. Now you know this equation. Uh, this equation, declination equation. Yesterday I have solved. In this declination, all these are all constant. Uh, this is constant. This is constant. This is constant. This is constant. Only variable is this one. So. that value is substitute here then you are going to get delta value minus 2.42 degree now ws uh, sunrise hour angle this ws so this is latitude this is declination Twenty-two degree is this one. Why? Uh, the formula is there. If you see that formula, you can recall that one. Uh, today morning, the first uh, beginning uh, uh, screen, I have shown this equation. So. If substitute latitude and delta declination, we can uh, get 89 degree. This much of radians. So day length s maximum we calculate by this equation by the equation shown earlier. 
then h not this is from equation 3.7 this h not what is that equation that equation is this one 3.17 this equation uh, however this equation here it is blur so don't worry in the book uh, this that equation just you know as this this thing, this equation has to be solved okay now it is not uh, clear i know uh, in the book we take the equation for more clarity and that is this equation 3.17 that equation so substitute those values uh, you see here delta value n value all are uh, this uh, fixed okay and then uh, latitude latitude value then this calculated uh, sun rise hour angle you get uh, this one 34206 kilojoule per square meter per day okay this is a uh, monthly average daily extra terrestrial uh, uh, radiation but we want global radiation extra terrestrial hg is global radiation global radiation we have to calculate hg value it is an average since it is an average h bar is there h bar so use this equation you can calculate the value uh, so this equation is uh, taken from this i will i am going to show you the hg equation three point one five this equation hg bar equation that is by equation 3.15 this equation you can calculate like this. so there's all the uh, this problem you look at this let me erase for your clarity Five minutes. I will be retaining this. You will read this problem.
Vidyan Prakash, he replied. He did not reply. As a, it is a disconnected. Once again, I have joined. Okay. Uh, just I am going to share the screen. Just uh, uh, tell me whether the screen is appearing or not. Does the screen is appearing? That uh, previous problem. Put it in the message, a chat box. Okay. Uh, I will uh, share once again. Now you see, I have opened the screen. Replay with Dan Prakash. Does the screen has appeared? Now, now I have opened screen. The previous uh, problem. Problem uh, screen has appeared. Replay. Yes, visible. Uh, I have seen. Thank you, Vidyan Prakash. Let us continue. So, uh, it is uh, this problem. Delta calculation, Omega S calculation, S maximum calculation, H naught calculation, finally HG calculation. So this is the answer, you should get it. I'll be retaining this uh, problem for some time, you go through it. Understand this problem now. For five minutes, I'll be retaining.
Okay. So let me uh, explain once again and I will conclude this one. <laughs> so we have to calculate this H0. It's not you have to calculate it. So formula previous uh, page screen what I have shown that is this formula. Substitute in that formula. I'll be showing you. So 24 by pi constant. Is, this is ISC. <clears throat> 24 by pi is constant. This is ISC solar constant. So 360, 360. Uh, removing of that uh, second, converting into day, then uh, 1 is constant, 0.033 is constant, cos 360 by n is constant, this 75 is this n. Okay. Then, this is 1.55 is this one, omega s. Sine of by 22 degrees, this one. Latitude, then uh, minus 2.42 is delta that value so phi delta this 89 is this omega s in degree if just if you substitute after finding this from the our level equation you are going to get the value h naught as kilojoule per square meter per day this is the average uh, this one. From this, you find this one. Now find this Hg. Now that the formula is. Yeah. B. This bar nine point five. Is maximum. This is H not bar. So you are going to get this value. 
There's all the problem this one. So I hope this is uh, clear for you. Uh, similarly, other empirical equations I'm going to show you quickly. And with, uh, you look at that one. Any doubt is there in this problem? Anybody having doubt in this problem? All of you please put your USA number once again in the chat box. It is disconnected in the uh, last, uh, uh, in the beginning, uh, those who have put your USA number, that is the uh, last. Now once again you have to put the this one. But uh, after connecting, so a few students have put that USA number. In the, those students need not put once again. Any doubt? <clears throat> Kanishka Reddy, uh, reply in the chat box or speak. You are not replying, Kanishka Reddy. Kanishka Reddy, you are not replying. Okay, right. I have seen Kanishka Reddy message. Uh, you don't have any doubt. Anybody? Ishan Tar. Since the uh, beginning of this uh, uh, semester, I did not uh, uh, interact with you. Ishantar, quick play. No doubt. So you understood the problem. Okay, fine. Attend all the Ishant, uh, many classes uh, you have missed. Attend regularly. Okay. Now, uh, seems to be uh, you uh, no um, doubt has been asked to you. I hope uh, it is clear. Let us continue with the next topic. So this is monthly average daily diffuse radiation. The equation is this one. So look at this. The final equation, if you take, this is enough. HD bar by HG bar is equal to 1.354. Amal Bhattana. 1.354 minus 1.57 HG bar by H naught bar. So just remember this equation. Only this equation is enough. Is it clear? Only the final equation is enough. Don't go for reading all these things. These are all not necessary. Okay. Now let us go to the next problem. Also, they have solved on that one. Um, you can, uh, those who are uh, concentrating on the complete uh, syllabus, you go through this one, this problem. This is also for the Baroda they have taken. So, Calcut HD, diffuse radiation, is all the monthly average, hourly global radiation equation is this equation. Only we, you have to, in your syllabus, remember, for your syllabus, only equation you have to take and the values will be given in the problem or data handbook. You can, uh, data handbook uh, is not available. The values will be given in the problem itself. Okay. So you have to substitute. Next is monthly average hourly diffuse radiation. It is. So this final equation, you take it enough. And the problem based on that one. This HD, exactly similarly like that, you have to calculate the, this one. <clears throat> if you go uh, in all these problems, the syllabus become too vast. However, uh, just to, uh, have an exposure, a beginning uh, problem, calculation of uh, declination and uh, calculation of incident angle, 
uh, that problem is important those will be uh, generally will be asked so these uh, hourly radiation then uh, diffuse radiation global radiation calculation problem is uh, it is uh, too vast it becomes uh, just a formula if you can see and uh, stop and just have an exposure idea and with that formula one problem if you know you can uh, attempt uh, solving the problem if it comes in the examinations however this notes will be sharing to you and uh, anyhow this question comes in the choice most of the time these problems uh, uh, these steps of the problem they will not ask so they will ask only the problem the beginning uh, so far the problems what i have shown you within that they are going to ask so this is not all necessary anyone uh, uh, daily uh, hourly hourly and all it is all not necessary okay all day you have covered this one all these are all not there in your syllabus <coughs> these problems are not necessary this problems are not necessary for you it becomes extra syllabus next is solar radiation on a tilted tilted surface so far the equation what you have seen is on horizontal surface now on tilted surface so beam radiation uh, this is the equation diffuse radiation you can take this equation reflected radiation you can take this equation and uh, the result that much is enough flux is not necessary and the problem is also there problem you can skip this one so this completes uh, this completes module 3 module 3 i have completed now if you have any thing to ask you please feel free to ask me anything to ask simika reply now we have joined you reply simika okay so module 3 i have completed take the book notes question paper read well prepare well go on practice the sketches each figure five five times you practice uh, problem formulas you write five five times problems are simple uh, just if with near exposure you can solve the problem nothing uh, no difficulty is there here problems on the solar energy is uh, if you remember the formula you can solve the problem now values will be given okay so so this completes uh, your uh, syllabus and my from my side is completed from your side uh, you just uh, anybody can uh, speak mohammad ayan ullas ullas you are not uh, interacted ullas turn on your video for a few seconds are you gone outside by connecting okay uh, just uh, for a few seconds i will ask you to turn on uh, your videos everybody everybody just turn on your videos so that uh, your friends can see your faces i can uh, recall your faces otherwise uh, in front of me 
in if you in the kala itself you uh, come i cannot identify your identify you that to mask is covering so therefore at least for uh, uh, remembering each other please all of you those who are comfortable please all of you turn on your video quickly few seconds Please see the message, chat message. Please turn on, turn your video for a few seconds. All of you, turn on. That is. My video is on. Okay. Uh, I will, let me call the names of the students. At least you say yes. Uh, from the okay, mm. Akil KV say yes, sir. If uh, you speak, okay, good, fine. Akil, I have seen Ankesh Aman, yes, sir. Ah, thank you, fine. Beldar Ahmad. Belzar Ahmad. Okay. Next, Chaitanya. Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Danush N. Danush Nantampalli. So, okay. Sir, Krishna. sir. Ah, okay, Danush. Fine. No, sir, you called me, sir. Yeah, just uh, I wanted to reply from you as yes, that's all. I'm yours, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay, fine. Oh, Vishantar. Okay, uh, Vishant, okay. Uh, Gunasagar. Yes, sir. Uh, Kanishka Reddy. Okay, I've uh, seen. Kanishka Reddy, seen. Uh, Gautam Sai. Thank you. Okay, Kiran R. Meghanath Prasad. Okay, Meghanath Prasad, same. Uh, NSS3 Prasad. Yes, sir. Okay, nice. NSS3 Prasad, NSS, such a coincidence. Good. Uh, you feel uh, oh, good now? Okay. Nihar. Nihar, many times you interacted with me. Yeah, fine. Good. Nikilar. Okay. So can can the whoever's uh, present can we leave the meeting, sir? Yeah, definitely it's gonna show over. Just uh, Thank you, sir. those who have uh, replied, they can leave. And uh, I hope you all of you put your mess, uh, US number in the chat box. Yes, sure. Okay. Uh, Sagar GV. Yes, sure. Present, uh, sir. Yeah. Sanjay Raghav. Shiva Krishna. Shiva Pawan. Siddharth S. Shiva Krishna Sen. Uh, Siddharth B. Shankar, Siddharth Sridhar, yes, okay. Simika, I replied, yes, uh, I seen. Siddharth Sin, Srinivasalu, Subramanya, uh, Sin, uh, Thirumanashitti Rohan, Thirumanashitti Rohan, Ag Rohan. Yes, sir. Agrohan, not Truman City Rohan. T Rohan, sir. Oh. So Agro Agrohan, one of the uh, MCQ question in the beginning class, during the beginning classes, uh, instead of uh, fire or the flame, 
you have replied with ag do you remember sirman shikrawan yes sir remember ah uh, yeah it is a very nice uh, uh, humor you have shown good uh, thank ulas. you sir uh, ulas vidyan prakash you know vidyan prakash replied okay ulas uh, ulas did not reply pawan okay 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 pawan uh, yoganand sir ulas is here only sir his mic is working uh, but in the chat box you can put no it's all right no problem ulas i can remember his uh, face uh, like I, i remembered ulas always uh, he was sitting in the beginning uh, uh, beginning uh, front benches i remember yogananda okay so class ends now uh, you can uh, leave uh, anything if you want to ask you can ask nothing